Hello, Dr. Jerome Fryer of Dynamic Chiropractic Clinic here. I wanted to go over a particular case that I found was quite interesting. And uh, this patient presented to me, uh, early 30s, after an MVA rollover uh, years ago, about well, five years ago, and the pain continues to be a problem. Uh, the patient presents with thoracolumbar pain in this region here, and uh, I asked her, you know, how it presented, and she said that as the day goes on, her back pain gets worse. And then I asked, well, what do you do to relieve the symptoms? And she would bend forward to relieve the symptoms temporarily, but annoyingly, what was most problematic, you know, that was problematic because the back pain would be worse also with standing, so when standing in one spot was worse as well. But also at the 3 a.m. mark upon sleeping, her pain would wake her up. So she was getting disrupted sleep. So then I looked at the MRI that was uh, conducted about four years ago, uh, not soon after uh, the MVA, to try and figure out what was going on. And it wasn't reported to her, but there was an end plate depression. So what does that mean? So if you look here, here are the vertebrae. Right, And this, you can see that the vertebral line here, that's the end plate, actually impacted this way and this way. So this is the nucleus. This has a gelatinous material. So, so here are the vertebrae. Right? And if we take this away, this is the gelatinous material. And you can see how sticky it is. And it's a really hydrated, especially in a young patient. And it's got a lot of water content. So instead of the, so when compression came through the vertebrae, so when compression came through the vertebrae, the impact came this way. Instead of the nucleus going backwards or bulging the disc, which it can do that, it was such a sudden impact that the nucleus went up, went up into the vertebrae and caused an end plate depression or Schmorl's node, it's called. Okay, so it actually impact this way, superiorly or inferiorly. So she would present, she presented with pain right here, right, pointing right to here. And that was the only finding on the MRI. So it's quite obvious to me that this is very likely her pain generator. And when you bend the spine forward, it offloads this end plate and reduces pressure in here. Over the course of the night, inflammation builds up and stasis, kind of like a, a backup of edema or inflammation starts to present and starts irritating the structures. So I thought, well, why don't I model this up for her? This is a, you don't see typically these Schmorl's nodes presenting that far backwards. Here's the, here the here's the, where the cauda equina, where the nerves are. So I uh, created this. So, you can see here, here's the nucleus, and you can see there's an end plate depression where there's inflammation. So under static load, right, meaning if, they stand, if the person stands in one spot, it irritates this. Moving keeps this pumped up hydraulically. But under static compressive load, it compresses. And that's why bending forward alleviates it an extension exacerbates it or makes it worse. So I thought, why not create a model for her so she can understand her symptoms? So the strategy to help with this is to regulate the amount of load and offloading and the timing of the end plate to help this remodel so the inflammation comes down. It can, she's young. And there's an opportunity to heal this. So, Hope she enjoys this.